Aloha, aloha, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. I am your host, Mary Elam, and we are on day 17. Day 17 of 40 Days of Prayer for the Prodigal. Y'all come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome to the broadcast. Welcome to the broadcast. Let's see who's on already. Good morning, Nikki. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all come in, come in. Oh, Lord, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, y'all. Come on in. Welcome. Good morning, Mr. Daryl. Mr. Seventeen himself. Come on in. Yes. Blessings to you, sir. Blessings. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Mr. 17 is here on day 17. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Come on in. Good morning, Carmen. Welcome. 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 Come on in. Y'all come on in. Go ahead and like and share the broadcast. Like and share. Like and share. When you like and share, when you share the broadcast, you are evangelizing the kingdom of God. You're sharing with others to let them get this message, to receive this message. Y'all, I'm telling you, I have been getting inboxes from people <laughs> saying how they've been blessed by these lives, by the broadcast, and they are excited about what God is doing in the life of their prodigal. We're going to keep on pressing. We're going to keep on pushing. We're not going to stop. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> come on in. Y'all come on in. Like and share. Like and share. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to go ahead and share this on my other page while you guys are coming in. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and we worship him, we adore him, we magnify his name. Hallelujah. Are you guys ready for to pray for the kindness, the kindness of your prodigal? God is saying today that we are going to be praying, uh, we are going to be praying for their kindness. Um, and I know you're like, what do you mean praying for their kindness? Well, God has, again, gave me all of the specific topics of prayer and kindness was one of the topics and we're going to go deeper into it and uh really he stated that i want them to have the fruit of the spirit good morning arista i want them to experience the fruit of the spirit good morning ba good morning y'all go ahead and like and share the broadcast i want them to experience the fruit of the spirit and some of people are saying, well, they're not even saved yet. How are you? <laughs> how are you going to use that same mouth to say that they're not what God is already saying, that we're prophesying that they are becoming or that they already are? We are speaking what God is saying, not what we're seeing. Can we say that again? We are speaking what God is saying not what we're seeing. Because in the natural, I see this, I see that, I see this, I see that. But we're going to speak what God is saying and not what we see. Y'all go ahead and like that. That was good. <laughs> we're going to speak life over them. We're not going to come with the negativity. We are speaking life because death and life is in the power of the tongue. You know, I often wonder about that scripture. Why do they say death and life? Because people always say life and death. No, the scripture actually says that death and life are in the power of the tongue and you will eat the fruit of it. I think the reason they said death and life is because we speak more death than we speak life. But God is saying today, I want you to speak life over them. And we're speaking that they are kind. We are speaking that they have, they exhibit the fruit of the spirit. Y'all go ahead and share, 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 share. Do it. They are exhibiting the fruit of the spirit. One of the fruit is what? Kindness. One of the fruit is kindness. They are kind. And we have scriptures 
um, that go along with the kindness, we're going to go ahead and go to our first one. It's found in Ephesians 4 and 32. We're going to go to the um, ESV version. Y'all go ahead and share. Let people know that we're on this bright and sunny morning here in the island, on the island of Oahu in the state of Hawaii. It is bright already. Y'all listen. <laughs> I, I live I live in paradise. I do. <laughs> I live in paradise. I'm thankful. I didn't always used to be that way. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you if you listen, if you're living somewhere and you don't and sometimes you you don't really appreciate what God is doing. I'm not going to digress. I appreciate what God has you right now because you don't know what he's going to do with you in that position, in that place. You have to be comfortable and being uncomfortable. I'm just that was just a nugget that I'm just gonna drop. Good morning, Miss Donna. That's just a nugget I'm gonna drop for y'all. Y'all go ahead and like and share. All right, verse 32 of Ephesians 4, right? It says, Be kind to one, to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgave you. Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ has forgave you. So God is speaking. He's giving instructions. He is saying, this is what I want you to do. This is what how I want you to act. Why? Because I have did this to you. So I want you to do this to others. God is kind to us. God is forgiving us. God is loving. He's tenderhearted. He has compassion. He has mercy. And these are the, the, the characteristics that God is speaking over our prodigal. These are the characteristics that God is speaking over our prodigal. These are the things that God is saying will come forth when we believe and we speak these things in faith. When we're trusting God and we're opening our mouth and we're believing in faith that God said. So because God said it, that settles it and that's what's going to happen. Right? And, and, and the interesting thing for me, what I really uh, found very interesting about how God speaks to us and what God says to us is that when we look at our own lives, and that's what you do, take a mirror and look at yourself and how were you prior to salvation and how are you now? Mm. That is what God is saying to all of us. He's saying, look at where you were and where you are now. Look at how you were and how you are now. If nobody ever prayed for you, hello, Demetri, if nobody ever prayed for you and pulled you out the pit, would you be in the same situation that you were back then? This is what we're doing. We are calling them forth. We're calling them out of darkness and we're decreeing and declaring that God is saying that they are kind. That they have, they're filled with mercy. They're filled with forgiveness. They're filled all of these things. He says, "Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you." Everything that God is speaking today, everything that we're decreeing and declaring today, this is what we have said uh, is in us because we carry the what the fruit of the spirit. We carry the Holy Spirit on the inside of us. And that is what is coming on the outside. So because we carry it on the inside and it's coming forth on the outside, this is what God is saying today for our prodigals. Because we are speaking it and we're believing it in faith, it is coming forth. It is coming forth. So when you look back and you say, wow, man, I would have never imagined that the person that used to curse me out, the person who said that they don't believe in God, the person who cursed God, the person who, who said they would never step foot in a church, the person who said this and who did that is now showing forth the love of Christ. They are now being a testimony. They are now a living epistle that can be read of men. Why? Because of our prayers, because of what we spoke over them, because of how we treated them. With love and kindness have I drawn thee. What? With love and with kindness, not with uh, uh, your negative words, not with you bow beating them over the head with, their, with the word of God. No, with love and kindness. I'm going to tell you something. When you see a behavior, the enemy is so he's he's he he think he's slick, 
but his pride always get the best of him. So whenever you see your prodigal exhibited a behavior you don't like, that's a prayer target. That may be something that gets you upset, but that's a prayer target. Oh, you're 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 using your mouth uh, uh with, with speaking foul language. I'm gonna pray about that. Let me get some scriptures to put on that. OK, let me get some word to put on that. Let me fast and turn my plate over. We're going to come against that foul spirit, that spirit that's deep within our heart. What's the root of that? What's the root of that? Holy Spirit, show me what's the root of that. Right. It's not for you to sit back and say, oh, they hurt me. Yes, that may be true. But we give our pain to the Father. We give our hurt to the Lord because he is the healer. He is our Jehovah Rapha. He heals. He, he, he comes in and he, he kills the wounds. He, he covers us, right? So when, we're, when we see those behaviors, when we see those attitudes, when we see those actions, it's for us to pray about it. It's for us to intercede about it. It's for us to, to find scriptures to uproot, to pull out, to tear down, to destroy that negative behavior. And to continue to love, to continue to be kind, because that is the behavior that we want our prodigals to exist. Y'all come on. Y'all come on. I'm, I, I know I'm, I'm teaching good now. Go to Proverbs 21 and 21 in the ESV. Hi, Miss Ida. How are you today? Blessings, woman of God. Hallelujah. Proverbs 21 and 21. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to God. Mm. This one right here is really good. Whoever, thank you for putting in the chat, Patricia. Whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness, and honor. Whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness, and honor. So we're decreeing and declaring today that our prodigal is pursuing what? Righteousness and kindness. Because in their pursuit of the righteousness and the kindness, they will find life, righteousness, even more righteousness and honor. God is saying, listen, when they are in pursuit of me, they will find the attributes of me. When they are in pursuit of me, they will find the characteristics of me. Because they're in pursuit of who I am, they will know the great I am. Come on, Jesus, because they are pursuing me. They are pursuing me. Glory to God. Mm. Showed up, I start that. In the pursuit of God, you will what? Find the attributes of God. You will find him. God said, daily will I seek you. Daily, early, early in the morning. Early will I seek you. Early, I will seek him early. Mm, glory to God. Listen, I'm telling y'all, when you are decreeing and declaring over your prodigal and you're speaking life, you're speaking words of encouragement over them, you're praying over them, you're fasting over them, you're worshiping, all of these things, God is saying today that because you are in pursuit of what I want for my son and daughter, you, prayer warrior, you, intercessor, will draw closer to me. Why? Because you are doing what I have asked you to do. You are following through on the assignment. I'm telling y'all, y'all will start to have encounters after encounter after encounter while you're praying for other people in your times of intercession. Can I get a witness? Those people that's on here right now who are intercessors, who are prayer warriors, when you are interceding and praying, can you and can you give me a heart in the chat if at during your intercession and prayer time you will have deep encounters with the father y'all go ahead give me a heart in the chat if you know that while you're interceding and you're praying for your loved one you are having encounters you are having your own encounters with god god is speaking to you about the things that are in your heart he gives you the desires of your heart. He not only gives you what you're praying for, but he gives you 
even more. We've talked about the Ephesians 3.20. Listen, God will design, he will give you more of him. Why? Because you're not just so focused on, 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 on yourself. You're not focused on you, 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 me, me, me. I'm praying for somebody else's son. I'm praying for somebody else's daughter. And because you're, you're, you're praying and you're laying on your face and you're seeking the face of God on behalf of someone else, God will encounter you and your, and, 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 and layers upon layers of the father's heart is being added to your heart because you're drawing closer to Jesus. You're drawing closer to him in intercession for others. Hallelujah. And what you make happen for God, he will make happen for you at a greater measure because you're sacrificing yourself. You're laying yourself down. And I'm saying, Lord, I'm going to, I'm going to lay and block out this time to spend with you, to, to, to intercede on behalf of these people. I'm going to block out my time Thank you, Holy Spirit, to, 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 to lay on my face and cry out for these for these other people, for these others, Lord. I just, I give you praise right now. God, I give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you praise and we give you glory because we are drawing closer to you. We are drawing closer to you. And God, as we draw close to your heart, Father, you are giving us more. We're, you're giving us more. You're giving us more. We are, we are gleaning more. We are, are discovering more. We're in, uh, increasing. Our faith is increasing. Our heart is increasing to you, Father. We are sitting in your lap and we're receiving uh, 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 your secrets and your mysteries because we're praying for other people. God, we give you praise and we give you glory, Father, for what you're doing in the lives of the prodigals right now, God. The kindness is falling down like rain. Lord God, your Holy Spirit spirit is falling down like rain upon them, Father. Fresh oil upon them right now. Fresh fire upon them. Lord, breathe a fresh wind upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we just glorify you for the fresh oil. We thank you for the fresh oil. We thank you for the fresh fire. Even falling upon us, God, we give you praise right now. We give you glory right now. Hallelujah. We honor you, Father, and we lift you high. We lift you high. You are our Jehovah Rapha. You are the God who heals. God, every area of brokenness that's in us, Lord, that needs to be healed. Lord God, we ask that you put the healing of bomb of Gilead, Gilead on every area of woundedness that's in our heart, Lord God. Lord God, that we go, that we are, uh, you bind up our broken wounds, Lord God, and that you continue to heal, deliver, and set free. And so God, as we move, Lord God, as we move in alignment with what you call us to do. Lord God, if we are moving in a syncopated race, as we're moving in a syncopated, we're synchronized, Lord God, with you, Father. We are in alignment with you. We're moving in your timing. We're moving with the season. We're moving as you have called us to move, Father God. We don't want to get ahead of you, God. We want to be in step with you, God. We want to move at your pace. We want to move at the rate you called us to. And so, Father, as we're praying for the prodigal, as we're lifting them up to you, Father God. Lord God, let their life get into alignment with you, Lord God. Let them become syncopated with you, Lord God. Lord God, let their steps be ordered by you. Your word declares that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And God, God, I thank you. Mm. We thank you that their steps are being ordered. Father God, no longer, hallelujah, that uh, that's in us, whatever is in them, Lord God, is falling to the ground. Things that are negative, that negative behavior, Father God, Lord God, that 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 lust, that perversion, that pornography, that adultery, that 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 a uh, 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 worldly mindset, those addictions, the uh, cocaine and methamphetamine, those addictions are falling to the ground. Lord God, we decree and declare gluttony is falling to the ground. Anything that's keeping them, Lord God, from being in right standing with you. Lord God is falling to the ground. That foul language is falling to the ground. Lord God those things that are in their heart, Lord God that is not in alignment with you is falling to the ground. God we decree and declare that their hearts are in alignment their hearts are syncopated to you Lord God we thank you that kindness is overflowing from their mouth Lord God. No longer will they speak harsh words. No longer will they speak words of uh, uh, that are uh, 
Lord God, that are filled with malice and with hatred and with anger. But Lord, they speak words, Lord, that, that are kind, that are lovely, that are pure, that are just. Those things, Lord God, that are in your heart. Those things that are on your heart for them, Lord God. Lord God, they're coming forth because we're speaking them, because we're calling them forth, Father. We're calling them out of darkness into the marvelous light of the King of glory. God, we thank you, Lord God. Lord God, that they're standing tall. Lord God, that their light is shining. Lord God, that there are cities that stand upon a hill that cannot be hidden. God, we glorify you right now because everything, Lord God, that you've spoken over their lives, God, that is uh, of the word, huh? that is your will, huh? that is your will for their life, God. And we praise you and we magnify you and we glorify you. Hallelujah. We give you glory because they're standing tall. They're standing firm. Their feet are firmly planted. They are no longer mm. They are no longer Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mixed up with people. Hallelujah. They're no longer in relationships and acquaintances. Lord God, that, that, that are doing them no good. Lord God, those relationships and those acquaintances, Lord God, and those that are speaking negative in their life, those that are speaking death to them, those people that are speaking death to them, those people that will cause them to go into the pit, Lord God. Lord God, we cut those relationships off. We sever, cut, and destroy them. And Lord God, we put a blood line heads of protection around them, Lord God. We cover them in the blood of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those relationships, hallelujah, are cut off in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Their feet will not slip. Their feet will not slip. Because their feet are rooted and grounded in the word. They are rooted and grounded in the word. Hallelujah. Their hunger is for more of you, God. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. They are tasting and they are seeing that you are good. Lord God, you are what they need right now. If they need a provider, you are their gyro. Mm. If they feel like they're not being heard, hallelujah, you are their Elroy. You are the God, hallelujah, the Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Rapha. You are everything. You are you are their El Nisi. You are their banner. You are their warfighter, their whole Jehovah Gabor. God, you are their everything. You are their righteous Jehovah Tiskanu. You are their righteousness, everything that they need. Everything that they need, God, you are meeting every need right now. Every need. Hallelujah. So they don't have to look to the left or to the right. Huh? They don't have to look uh, to drugs and alcohol and gambling. They don't have to look to, to a lust and perversion. They don't have to look to white riotous living. They don't have to look to partying and, and they don't have to look at, uh, at, at cursing. And they don't have to fill their eyes with things, Lord God, that are not going to edify, that are not going to build them up. Lord God, they are seeking those things to fill the emptiness of their soul. They are seeking those things to fill the entrance of their soul. God, you are filling their spirit with the Holy Spirit. God, you are filling them with the fruit of the spirit, with the kindness, with the love, with the peace, with the patience, with the joy, with the gentleness, with the long suffering, that patience, that long suffering. God, give us supernatural patience as we intercede, as we wait for the prodigal, for we, as we wait for them to manifest what we have been praying, as we wait for the manifestation of the promise to take place. God, let us not grow weary in well-doing because we know that we shall reap if we what? Faint not. And we will not faint. Whew, Jesus. We will not faint. We will stand firm we will stand firm. We will stand firm. Glory to God. We will not waver. We will not quit. Father, I thank you. Father, forgive us for even thinking of quitting. Forgive us for even thinking of giving up. Forgive us for even thinking of running, God. Some of us have that, that vagabond spirit. We destroy that spirit in the name of Jesus. That spirit that runs when things get hard. That things we can't be settled. We, we want to give up. We want to quit. We want to run. No, God is saying stand firm. Hallelujah. I repent for wanting to quit. I repent for wanting to give up. God is saying what? Stand firm. Hallelujah. 
I'm thinking of the scripture, Exodus 14 and 14, where it talks about, and I'm paraphrasing, where it talks about for the people, the, 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 the Egyptians, the enemies that you see today, you will see no longer. For your problems that you see today, you will see no longer. Glory to God. That situation that you see today, you will see no longer. That thing that you are fighting today, you will see no longer. God, we thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. Whew. Glory to God. We give you praise, oh God. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Hallelujah, Lord God. We ask, Father, that even now, that you, those who are interceding and those who are praying for the prodigals, Lord God, that you give us a supernatural strength, more endurance, supernatural strength to fight, supernatural strength to endure, supernatural strength to push through, supernatural strength to keep moving, supernatural strength to not quit, supernatural strength to go deeper in our walk and relationship with you. And Lord, let your fire fall on us and burn up everything that is not like you. God, give us the strength to keep fighting. Whew. No matter what we see, no matter how we feel, give us the strength to endure. As my mentor, Jennifer Evans, would say, do not lay down your sword. Men and women of God, do not lay down your sword. Keep fighting. Hallelujah. This prayer is sealed with the blood of Jesus. There's no backlash or retaliation on this prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen, Brother Daryl. In our weakness, he is strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If there's anyone that's watching this prayer live right now or watching the replay, may watch the replay. Someone may uh, uh, share. If you have not shared the broadcast, do so. We need to know. People need to know right now that God is saying, be strong. I got you. Don't quit. Don't give up because I am putting kindness. The spirit of the living God is saying that he is resting and ruling over our prodigals and their heart is turning. Their heart is turning. Their, he is turning their hearts. He is softening their hearts. He's doing it, but we gotta stand firm and we gotta stand fast. When you see your prodigal who was angry and bitter and unforgiving began to speak kind words, listen, listen, your prayers are working. When you see your prodigal, when you see that prodigal who used to curse and who used to use coarse joking and used to say things that were demonic. Hi, Diane. I, I got a word for you. Stay on, stay on the on the call. You've been on my heart. Stay, stay right there. Um, and all of a sudden, they're starting to be kind. Guess what? Huh. Your prayers are working. You have to believe that you have power in your prayers. There is power in what you speak. You have power in your prayer. Glory to God. So I want to pray over those who don't know Jesus. There's an open invitation right now for the for, for, for you to come and dine at the master's table. The Lord God is sending out an invitation for you to come and sit at the table and feast. Dine. Glory to God. Come and dine at the table. Diane, I hope you're, uh, if you're still on here, please uh, stay because I have a word for you. Diane Ciaferro. Yes, Diana, Diana, Diana. Whew. So um, I want to pray. 
So if you don't know Jesus, I just ask right now that you just repeat after me. Father, I want to come and dine at the table. Forgive me of my sins. I want you to be Lord of my life. I'm tired. I'm weary. And, and, and I need you to come and see about me. And I want to be your son or I want to be your daughter. Make me yours. If you pray that prayer, you pray that prayer, then you have an invitation to come and sit. So come on. You are you can you can come eat, come and feast with the Lord because He's He's prepared a table before you, excuse me, in the presence of your enemies. Your enemies no longer, no longer have a uh, 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 power uh, to cause you to feel less than because you are chosen. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. You are everything that God says you are. And he loves you with an everlasting love. So come on and join. Come on and dine at his table. Come on. Come on. Come on. Diane, if you're still on the line, please put a heart in the chat. If you can hear me, Diana, see a federal. If not, somebody tag her, please. Patricia, can you tag her? Um, so Diana, I, I, I was reading your, your post today in reference to uh, the witchcraft. Hmm. Yes, I read your post today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, in my heart, in my spirit, I, I feel like God is raising you above. He's raising you above those things that have tried to chain you those things that have tried to hold you down, um, God is raising you above. Um, and he, he's saying you are seated in heavenly places. Um, your gifts, your talents, your, your business, um, he's taking you beyond. I hear the word international. Um, I hear the word international. Um, yeah, he is raising you above, Diana. So continue to press in to the ideas, the creative ideas that God is downloading in you. Um, create, continue. Mm. Glory to God. Get your passport, Diana. Get your passport. If you don't already have one, get your passport. Um, I see, uh, world traveler for you um, as it relates to business and ministry <laughs> in the mighty name of Jesus yeah but especially with business <sighs> yeah I might I mean I might need to talk to you <laughs> I might need to talk to you amen glory to God so that's all we have for day 17 uh, 40 days of prayer for the prodigal of Mars, day 18. Y'all, we almost halfway through. My God, we're almost halfway finished. I hope y'all are enjoying this. If you have not shared the broadcast, please do so. This, this broadcast was not only for the prodigal, but this broadcast was to encourage the intercessor and those that are standing in the gap. Glory to God. Those that are standing in the gap and the intercessor. I pray that you join me again tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow, same time. All right, y'all be blessed. God bless you. Oh, tomorrow's going to be a car chronicle because I have to go into work tomorrow. <laughs> but tomorrow's going to be a car chronicle. So I see y'all tomorrow. Blessings and aloha.